Good night, my friends. Welcome to my 40 days Lithuanian language challenge. And this is day number 26. I am very proud of these 26 days. And I'm proud of my friends in Lithuania, the people who liked, who shared, who commented, and who wrote me via the messaging. Thank you very much especially to Vitalia, who really sometimes recorded with her own voice and uh, sent me uh, the content. So I uh, was able to uh, even improve my pronunciation skills. Um, yeah, I'm very, very happy to have this great support from all of you. And um, yeah, I mean, last year in 2019, I came just for a one day in May, it was in May, just for one day, and I stayed even less than a day, and uh, everything started there, uh, and this is a love story which still continues, and I hope it will um, last forever. I believe that Lithuania is the heart of Europe, yeah? You can say, no, it's Germany, uh, or it's Switzerland. For me, uh, it is Lithuania. And if you look on the map to the shape of Lithuania, you will see that it looks a bit like a brain, but it looks also like a bit uh, like Africa. It looks also a bit like a heart. And maybe it's a combination of uh, all of these. Yeah, like it's a combination of heart and brain. Okay. Let's consider Lithuania as, um, you know, the best combination of heart and brain. That's a good picture, I think. Uh, and also, um, the name of Lithuania is, uh, it's really wonderful. Uh, Lietuva means the place of water. Lietuva, yeah. Lietuva is the place of water. And water is the source of life, yeah? Everything, um, everything is based on water. Every life is based on water. Uh, if you don't have on a planet or in a solar, in a, in a system, in a galactic system, if you don't have water, there is no life. Uh, there are auto, uh, um, other places in the, in the universe where you have a certain kind of water it's H2O, I mean, the same formula, but uh, different water molecules. Yeah? Uh, so this means on our planet, we have our, our certain uh, um, H2O, our water. And um, there is only one country in the world which has um, the name water in it. Really, I mean, uh, the Lithuanians. Lithuanians should be proud of that. Lietuva. You have actually the the most interesting um, the most interesting name Lietuva. So you are the place of water. You are the place Lietuva. Lithuania is the place of water. Um, and of course, you have all kinds of greens in your country. Um, I see those pictures um, in all the stories and feeds. Um, uh, currently, I see many, many people um, making those wonderful, um, wonderful hats uh, out of green, uh, out of flowers. Um, and this is all based on water. And I believe that that's a good picture to keep in mind. Yeah, that love uh, still continues and I hope it will last forever. And I believe that um, Lithuania could become um, really the heart of Europe, especially with those young uh, people uh, who are so motivated, uh, who are really uh, hungry for knowledge. They want to learn. They want to understand what's happening in the world. They want to connect. They want to really open themselves. Um, and I hope that they will uh, be able to do that. What I really liked about Lithuania is the, the education. I, I really, I believe that Lithuania uh, does it right uh, when it comes to the 
education. So, um, and one day it will pay off, I believe. Yeah. And you know, one of my main themes in Lithuania will be, of course, uh, um, e-learning education, um, also media uh, topics, um, and of course my uh, my other topics like the consulting, etc., etc. And I believe the Lithuanian place is exactly suitable for all these things. Yeah. Um, Apart from that, I hope that Lithuania will always uh, keep this open nature, the open nature for cultures, the openness for other people. Um, I hope that it never ever gets infected by um, this, this real virus, which is the racism virus. Uh, I hate racism, by the way, really. I hate it with the bottom of my heart. I mean, you can love your country, but this doesn't mean that you uh, that you turn into a racist, yeah? So um, this is not acceptable. Uh, I hope that Lithuania will never ever um, allow that racist tendencies uh, evolve in, in the country. Um, and if that could uh, be kept as it is, then Lithuania or Lietuva will be one of the strongest countries in Europe. Yeah, it's a small country, but you know, to be a small country doesn't mean anything. Uh, it's really, even if you have, uh, really, if even if you have only 13,000 people, but 13,000 really believing people, really strong people, educated people, people with heart and mind, even 13,000 people could, you know, uh, could change the whole world all in once. Um, even with 100 people in Lithuania, uh, you could change so many things, um, but they have to be the right 100 people. Yeah, I talk like a politician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, that's not my aim. Uh, I just want to, I, I just um, talk open straight from my heart. And um, yeah, I'm happy that uh, I will be in Lithuania next week for two weeks. And um, I will try to um, approach the people on the street, talk with them in Lithuanian, um, visit a lot of places, uh, have a lot of meetings. Uh, yeah, that will be that will be a fantastic time, and uh, I'm in a very central place, um, very close to my Pili Street. I love the Pili Street. Many, many, um, many, many memories about the Pili Street, and um, yeah, I'm happy to be there soon. Yes. Um, today I'm gonna read a poem from Vitutas Macernas. Um, it's this wonderful, wonderful um, poem which he wrote in 1943. Maybe you know it. Uh, I will try to read it, of course, in my way with lots of mistakes and I hope you can really forgive me my mistakes. By the way, forgive me all of my mistakes. I do so many mistakes. Uh, I, um, I may, I may even hurt your feelings. Uh, I don't know. I've sang your national anthem uh, and declared myself uh, as an unofficial Lithuanian citizen. Uh, you know, this is not to make fun of of you or your culture or your country. No, really, it's not. It's only to express my. Um, gratitude, my appreciation and my love for, for your country and for your culture. So um, uh, please, if, you're, if you feel offended, um, please forgive me. Uh, on the other hand, also, as you know, I'm, I'm singing kids songs and um, make also a fool of myself. It's no problem. I mean, uh, I'm not a perfect, perfect, uh, perfectionist. Yeah, um, I don't want to be a perfectionist. Uh, 
I many years thought uh, as an idiot, uh, I was thinking that um, I should be perfect in everything. So forget about this, really forget about this. Try to be good, try to make your best, but don't set yourself a goal to become a perfectionist. If you do that, you will never ever be able to to um, to be happy. I mean, uh, this will drive you, and you will be enslaved, and you will be, you know, uh, encircled by your desires, and uh, that will slow you down. Maybe for a certain time it will push you up, um, but after a time you will uh, fall down. You will fall down because your powers will not be uh, enough uh, to do anything. So. Uh, but if you really focus on your um, on your power which exists and uh, you do the best possible with it um, then that's the the best approach I think that's my belief okay now I would like to read uh, the Lithuanian poem mes nežinome kam bet giventi Kurt ir juoktis pazauli pa puiku. Nes ir tai, ka mes esam iškente, vienašk prasiveržia džiaugsmu. Mes nežinom, kodėl bet darbūtis per šešias įtempimo dienas, ten ką mums ir tada vaini kuoti, Galim švesti šventes prabangias. Mes nežinome, kaip kuo būdu, bet vien ieškanti glosto švelniai po giliu abejones naktu. Purpuriniai tiesios spinduliai ir pro ašaru tyrus lašus. Šviečia aukštas ramybės dangus. That was a poem written in 1943 in Šarnele by Vitutas Macernas. So, what did I understand from this poem? Very nice words. <laughs> and I understood ir, for example. And... Um, but I didn't understand so much about the poem. Maybe one day I will understand. Yeah. That's it for today. This is this was a long video. And I'm sh pretty sure that uh, you will not listen to all of it. But, um, you know, I wanted to open my heart and um, tell it as it is. Enjoy your night. Bye bye.